Warning. Concentrated solutions of hydrogen peroxide can cause skin irritation and chemical burns. Oxidation process is highly exothermic, so please use gloves, glasses and other protective equipment. Thanks. Salute my dear chemists and welcome to Acantharax channel. Today I am gonna show you how to make a Theorio dioxide. Before starting all experimental procedures, let me introduce you what it actually is. Theorio dioxide, briefly Tudo, was discovered by Debari Barnett in 1910 by reaction between Theorio and aqueous hydrogen peroxide. This substance is one of the greatest reductants in organic chemistry. But it's so pity that most of even experienced chemists have never ever heard about it. Tudor has a stable form and neutral pH water solution, but under basic conditions turn into unstable second form amidine sulfenic acid state. Theorio dioxide owes its super reducing power to sulfenic acid fragments, which are releasing due to subsequent hydrolysis of the second form mentioned before. Tudor are able to reduce high variety of common organic groups, especially nitro, N nitroso, alde, and keto groups, at mild conditions. Also, this reagent is a pretty eco friendly one. It was a small theoretical part, so let's go to synthesize and test Tudor. First, put a 500ml round bottom flask with a store bar into ice ice bath. If you are interested, ice ice is just a frozen 15 solution of isopropanol in water. This stuff is perfectly maintaining negative temperature, comparing to simple ice salt mixture. Next, I pour 190ml of distilled water, then add 42ml of about 25% hydrogen peroxide. As a result, we need a 6% solution. Now let it cool down below 10 degrees C while I grind 15 grams of CoE in fine powder using mortar and pestle. Here I am just adding whole powder into solution by small portions during one hour, controlling temperature. So, what's happened in our reaction mixture? Yeah, hydrogen peroxide simply oxidizes Ciorea into Tudor. Nothing special here, but why did we use such a strange concentration of hydrogen peroxide? Because Tudor is basically soluble in water, but less than initial Ciorea. Be on your guard. Reaction stops when crystalline powder of dioxide precipitates out and whole reagent has been added. Next, you suppose the filter precipitates off in a glass filter. Then wash a couple of times with the boiling ethanol to reduce remaining theory. dry Tudor into airflow during 2 hours. Filtrate could be evaporated to recover and reactive theory. Nice! We have successfully prepared 6 grams of pretty pure product, which is correspond to 26% yield. Hmm, I think that my peroxide wasn't concentrated enough, because where is my 3 grams of Tudor? Whatever, let's go to test it. Honestly, I felt myself a little bit nervous about this experiment because nitrobenzene isn't soluble in water, but at the same time I believe in theory of dioxide power. So I put a beaker with 1.05 grams of nitrobenzene onto magnetic storing, then add 0.34 grams of sodium hydroxide and pour a little bit of water to it. First I add 2 grams of Tudor and, as you can see, reaction mixture instantly becomes yellowish. I assume it happened because of intermediate nitrogen sulfur compound formation, which later decomposing into amine and SO2 gas, consuming but sodium hydroxide. Fifteen minutes later, I have tested it for presence of aniline by acidified solution of potassium dichromate. Yes, it works! Aniline black has formed instantly. We have successfully reduced nitrobenzene into aniline. 
But Franklin said it would be better to add phase transfer catalyst to promote this reaction in the next time. To sum up, today I have shown you how to make a theory dioxide and demonstrated reducing properties of it. So if the video was helpful, put likes, leave comments, crack the bell and subscribe to Akansarek's channel. See you ah!